Drop a like and do share. Leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos. Dear yes, students, let's proceed further with our chapter hydrocarbon. We were doing the subtopic alkenes. First uh, two subtopics we have done about the structure of alkenes and then the nomenclature and isomerism. Uh, in this video, we are going to uh, study about the preparation of alkenes. So preparation of alkene we will be studying from the alkynes, from alkyl halides, from vicinal dihalides and from alcohols. So let's analyze how uh, alkenes could be prepared from these techniques. So first from alkynes. So alkynes they have triple bond. So they could be reduced to alkenes using a reagent and the name of the reagent is palladium charcoal or palladized charcoal catalyst which is partially deactivated or poisoned with sulfur compound or phenyl phenylene okay and this reagent is or the catalyst is known as Lindlar's catalyst okay and there is another method too to reduce the alkynes to alkenes and that is known as birch reduction in which we use sodium dissolved in liquid ammonia. So what's the difference between these two? If we reduce the alkyne using the Lindlar's catalyst, okay, palladium and charcoal poisoned with sulfur or other quinoline compound, then the H they join from the same side so it results in a cis alkene whereas if we use birch reduction sodium in liquid ammonia then we get a trans alkene so if we have to prepare a cis alkene then the reagent will be this palladium charcoal lindlar's catalyst if we have to prepare a trans alkene then we have to do the birch reduction okay and here it doesn't matter because the hydrogen is same okay next from alkyl halides okay so from alkyl halides we can prepare alkene and this reaction is known as dehalogenation why because we remove halogen from one carbon and hydrogen from other carbon okay and here the reagent used is alcoholic potash that is potassium hydroxide dissolved in ethanol okay and since the hydrogen atom is eliminated from beta carbon okay the carbon next to the carbon which is having the halogen attached to it so this is alpha position because the functional group is there and Hydrogen is removed from the next carbon that is the beta carbon. That's why it is also known as beta elimination reaction. So dehalogenation because a halogen and a hydrogen. Okay. Both are being removed. So dehalogenation reaction and then beta elimination because hydrogen is removed from beta position. Okay. And we can also compare the rate of reaction depending upon the type of halogen involved in the reaction and the degree of alkyl group primary secondary or tertiary we have uh, studied about what is primary secondary tertiary or one degree two degree three degree uh, alkyls group in our previous chapter general organic chemistry if you have any doubt Please go through those videos. Okay. So the rate of reaction will be such that first iodine, then bromine, then chlorine, and the reason is the leaving group. 
iodine is better leaving group that's why its reaction rate is faster and then for alkyl group it is tertiary then secondary then primary its reason is stability of the carbocation atoms we have also studied about the stability of carbocation atoms in our goc uh, chapter okay please go through those videos if you have any doubt next from vicinal dihalide so first of all what is vicinal dihalide so if there are two had halogen atoms attached to the adjacent carbon atom then it is known as vicinal dihalide for example this bromine they are attached to the adjacent carbon atom so they are vicinal position to each other okay so simple is take a vicinal dihalide okay and then heat it with zinc dust powder dust of zinc in ethyl alcohol okay so on heating with zinc dust both the halogen atoms they will remove and we will get a alkene next is from alcohol okay so when we are heat heating alcohol with any protonic acid such as sulfuric acid at a elevated temperature like uh, 443 kelvin then the removal of hydrogen and hydroxide takes place and a alkene is produced okay so we need concentrated h2so4 and heat so H will be removed and OH will be removed. Okay, again the H is being removed from beta position, so it is beta elimination reaction. And H and OH is removed, so uh, water is removed, so it is dehydration of alcohol. Okay, thank you.